Hi guys, Todd here. This should be a quick one. Uh, hopefully it's going to be a quick one. Now I did a review for the Furion uh, by Lost Vape. Now I was really lucky uh, that I actually got my hands on a few prototypes when they were, you know, when they were first putting the mod together. And um, I, and so I have I had two or three of them here, you know, going back before the release. Now what I did with my one uh, was that I put in a brass tube into mine, and I do believe that Lost Vape are now going to be selling this with a brass tube in. Now I never did a video or anything like that. I did talk about it in my own Facebook group though and it is a relatively easy thing to do. I was doing a live stream uh, the other day and I said that I have got this. Now this is, they haven't released this yet. Uh, you can only get the black one with a brass top and bottom, but I hope that they are going to do a stainless steel one down the line as well. But I wanted to convert my black one to a stainless steel tube as well. Luckily, in this live stream, the wonderful Mr. Rick Grove from modmaker.co.uk was in the stream and he posted me up one of his battery tubes and that is what I used in the brass one. It's a 2021 700 brass brass stainless steel battery tube. Uh, what I will do is I'll put the part number in the description for this video. Now I did in my review for this mod, I did show you how to take this to bits, so I'm going to kind of skip that bit. Uh, just undo two screws and pull it apart, but uh, you will get to a certain stage and you'll see where I'm going from there. Rather than forcing you to go off and, and watch another video, I'll, I'll actually do this properly. I will take this to bits for you on camera. So using uh, my torch set here, I'm just going to undo the two bolts at the bottom and I'll just pull these right out. There we go, out she comes. This bit comes off like that and up the top, you know, I'm just going to remember for how I do this, it's I'm pulling this from the back first. So I'm just pulling this up and you can see that we're getting a gap there and that'll come off like that. So you, at once again, I lifted it from the back and when you're putting it back together, do that the opposite way. And then the switch assembly, I usually just push down on the button and push it up a little bit and then the whole thing just comes to bits like this. That'll come off like that. So once I've got it in bits, I'm just going to pull the inner tray out like this. Be careful with these two little springs here. Uh, keep an eye on them. Do this over an, an enclosed area so that, you know, these if these do fall off, they don't go walk about. But I tend to just leave them stuck on there like that. Now the battery tube is just a bit of plastic and I would recommend getting a hair dryer and just running a hair dryer over this gently, just get it slightly warm. This battery tube is just held on by a bit of double sided sticky tape in here. So once you warm it up a bit, it will just pull off no problem. Battery tube pulled off no problem uh, and you can see there's a bit of sticky tape here. Uh, you want to get that off there as well just to keep things clean and off she comes. We go. Now don't bin this just yet because obviously this is your template. Uh, so I have the battery tube here. Now this battery tube, uh, this will unscrew at the top like that. And you can see that there is a difference in size. Now uh, you want to mark this up. You want to make sure that you get a mark on here to give you a guideline. You are going to have to cut this manually. You're either going to have to get a grinder or you're going to have to get a hacksaw and cut this off up at the top here. Measure, measure, measure. Do it three times and make sure your measurements are spot on. Even cut on, you know, if you make a mark, cut on the other side of the mark. You know, you want this to be even just a bit too long rather than too short. So, but you know, be careful with this. So my tube is now cut and I've now inserted it in and you can see that uh, you've got, see that lip that's running around there? Well, your tube has to sit just down below that lip. The only issue you will have, now I found with the brass one and with the stainless steel one is that there's, can you see here? See this cover here? So the top of the tube has to slide into this bit here. It's very, very tight incredibly tight uh, and pretty much once you've got it in there it's going to be a bugger of a job getting it back out so get your tube polished up 
as clean as you can get it before you put it in there because getting it back out afterwards will be a pain in the bahuki. So now that that's in, I'm just going to take this piece and just going to slot that in there. Now you will have to push down on this to get it past each bar here. So slide that in, push down again and up she goes. And that's pretty much bang on. Then you want to take your battery lock or your, sorry, your lock for your switch, I should say. And we'll just sit that in there. So that's that placed in. I usually always end up, when I'm putting this back together, I end up knocking this out a couple of times and it all goes wrong. But uh, we've got that in there. We're then going to put the top switch back in place. We're just going to locate that there. I will say, and I never mentioned this in the first video, that but when you put this back on, see the two springs there? Make sure the lugs here are actually sitting on top of those springs uh, so that when it drops back in together, you know, those little springs are behind the switch. You don't want them getting trapped or pinned. Take your cover and just kind of like place it over the switch. You want it to kind of locate like that and then just gently, you're just kind of like dropping it into place almost. There it goes. Click. And that's me. Top plate back on, it just sits on no problem. And the last thing, just put the bottom cap back on, drop these in, and then tighten it all back up together. And all back together, and we have stainless top, stainless bottom, and a stainless tube. And I think that looks so much better. It really, really does. Now, I'm not one for, we're doomed, we're all going to die and you're doomed. Uh, but I will put in a, you're doomed if you're not careful. Now, with this one, I am assuming that you know how to use power tools or a hacksaw. If you do know how to use either of those things, you'll be fine. But please measure exactly where you need to cut. Also, once you have cut, you need to get a bit of sandpaper and you need to sand round the edges, the outside edge of your metal tube. You also need to sand inside here as well if you did not have a clean cut. You need to get all these bits smoothed off. Basically, you're going to be putting a battery in and out of this tube and you want to make sure that all the little edges are off inside or it will damage your battery wrap. Plus, you've changed out a plastic tube for a metal one. So your battery wraps have to be in a1 condition, they have to be perfect. And if you don't smooth this off, then you are in trouble. The other thing is, and I just stress this again, when you put your metal tube inside the carrier system, it's a tight, tight fit. And I actually, what I ended up doing was just putting this on the top of the metal tube and then tapping this bit down to make sure that the tube had gone in all the way. So it's not a case of, you know, I'll just take the tube out at a later date. Once it's in there, it's pretty much stuck in there. Yeah, I'm sure you can get it out eventually, but uh, once you're gonna do this, this is a one-way trip in my opinion. But remember that little bottom lip inside? You want to make sure that, you know, your tube is well below that so that everything fits back together properly. I will also say, get your tube polished before you put it in. Get everything as clean as you possibly can, as shiny as you can, before you put it in there. It just makes everything a lot easier. Uh, also, if you do it with the brass one on here, be very careful because if you polish the brass and you get any, you know how when you use brass, so it can kind of go to like a liquid, it can seep underneath the ultim here and it's not pretty. So get everything polished and clean before you assemble it together. Now I know that these are not for sale just now, you know, the, the black with the stainless steel top and bottom, but that, that looks so much better like that. And I also think that the brass looks so much better on the Ultum, but I do know that they are bringing this out retail eventually. I just hope that they bring this out as retail as well. My last warning before I go, this is, you paid whatever you paid for it. You paid up to £80 for this. If you're going to take it to bits and hammer a tube in there, then remember, that's warranties and everything void. So if you bugger this up, you have broken your £80 mod. So only attempt to do this kind of thing if you're confident in your own skills. 
I don't have any skills and I still managed it. But you've also got the choice of hanging off and hopefully they'll bring these out to market eventually. But if you've bought one, then there you go. That's how you do it. As always, thank you for watching and we'll catch you next time. Bye for now.